Hey YouTube, I wanted to show you our latest purchase for the RV, for the camper van. It is a Dometic 65 liter cooler. It's pretty large. Some of the space is taken up inside by the motor. It has a separate compartment where you can make ice cubes. The cooler is really, really deep inside. It comes with an ice, an area that will make ice. This little divider that you can remove if you want your a larger space in here. But I, I love having ice and so I am going to leave that in. This thing runs on AC or DC. It comes with two separate cords. One for AC use, the other one for DC, which I have plugged into my Goal Zero Yeti 1250. The depth of this is really, really deep, and to if I'm going to do ice cubes, I'm going to have to essentially hold this like this and put it down in there because it is such a long drop. Then I think we can put frozen foods on top of that. Um, just to give you an idea of size, this is a 12 pack of Coke fits in there just about to the top. I do think it's going to be kind of a pain in the ass to have stuff down low and have to take out things in order to get to them, but this thing is super efficient. It uses very little energy. Right now I'm sure it's using a lot because I just turned it on. If you get containers that are kind of narrow, they should fit in there. I don't know if that'll fit in there. Nope. That has to go in the deeper one. I can't fit the coke in there. I probably can, I can fit the coke in laying down on the right hand side there. This cooler is awesome. It cools down quite quickly and latches nice and it's very, very strong and sturdy and it's not that heavy without anything in it. The controls are pretty easy to use. You turn it on here, you hit set and you can increase and decrease your Temperature. I have it on 9 degrees. 9 degrees makes ice pretty well and does not freeze the rest of the container. If you hit set, change something, and hit set again, it essentially cancels it and doesn't take effect. What you have to do is hit set, don't uh, adjust your temperature to whatever, I'll adjust it to 13 and then I'll just wait for it to time out. That's kind of weird. You would think you would hit set and set again to actually set it, but you hit set, now it's set to 13. I really want it on nine. So I'm gonna wait for that to time out. And now it's set to nine degrees away. So that's gonna be a lot more convenient than your standard ice chest where you have to continually buy ice, drain the water out, stuff like that. By the way, we bought the 65 liter because it was kind of similar volume as to this. However, cons all things considered, when you fill this up with a bunch of ice, how much volume do you really have? Right now I have this plugged into the Yeti Goal Zero and it is using, is using 49 watts, 51 watts of power. Right now I have it plugged into the solar panels and I'm getting 62 watts in. I've seen as high as 89 watts. When this has fully gotten down to temperature, this usually will run at 39 watts for a little bit of time, then turn off and use no watts. What I did for a test was I ran this cooler for three days without plugging the Yeti in and it drained it down to about 40%. So I think you could probably get about five days of cooling or keeping your food cool with the Yeti 1250 if you didn't charge up the Yeti with solar power or something else. I think it'll absolutely run indefinitely if you're using solar panels to, to keep this thing charged during the day. Looks like a really good combination of that freezer and this battery for keeping our food cool. So here it is all loaded up with food. 
just jam packed with stuff. Got some bags of ice, hot dogs, water. Here's the problem is reaching down underneath here to get at everything that's down there. But this this one's not too bad because it's shallow. This one's deep. Constantly going to be taking stuff out, putting stuff back in, but not bad. It's been sitting at 7 degrees all night. Has drained the battery down to 80%. It's not too bad. And we're off to go camping. What do you think of that, Aspen? Look at this mess. Ladder so we can put the canoe up on top. All kinds of stuff. Just crazy. Well, I'll see how it goes. This will be our first trip in the van.